changing fractions into decimals. What is a fraction? A fraction is shorthand notation for division. You'll see it written A over B. It's A divided by B or B divided into A. A fraction can also be used to express a ratio or a comparison. The ratio of A to B can be written as A colon B. You'll see it written that way in English when they're doing comparisons. Or uh, like on a model plane that's being built on the outside of the box to say may 1 to 48 or 1 colon 48. What do you get when you do the division indicated in a fraction? Since the fraction bar means divide, there happens to be three ways that you can express this division. Three different ways it can be Example, 7 over 2. We can write it as 3 remainder 1. It's called quotient and remainder because 2 goes into 7 three times with a remainder of 1. We could write it as 3 and 1 half, which is expressing it as a mixed number. Or we could express it as 3.5, which is a decimal. So you have to answer the question that is asked. So depending on how you are asked the question will determine which of the three methods you would use. Today we're going to writing it as a decimal. So we're going to change a fraction into a decimal, rounding as directed. So here, 5 over 14. We want to round to the nearest hundredth. That means two decimal places. The one we're going to choose here is 14 divided into 5. They call this... So we're rounding to the nearest hundredth. That means two decimal places, which means we're going to need three in our work, three decimal places in our work in order to properly round. 14 goes into 5 zero times, so I put a zero on top. 14 goes into 50 three times. 3 times 14 is 42. I subtract that from the 50. I get an 8. I bring down the zero. So how many times does 14 go into 80? It goes in 5 times. 5 times 14 is 70. I subtract. I get a 10. I bring down the next 0. So now how many times does 14 go into 100? It goes in there 7 times. And just to make sure, 7 times 14 is 98. So we have 0 0.357. Now we're going to round to the hundredth position, which is where the 5 is. So we have to look at the 7. We're going to round up, and we get 0 0.36. Let's try 3 sixteenths. Round to the nearest thousandth. That's three decimal places, so we're going to need 4 in our work. 16 goes into 3 no times, 16 into 30 one time, 1 times the 16 gives us 16, we subtract, we have 14, we bring down the next 0, 16 into 140 is 8 times, 8 times the 16 is 128, we subtract, which gives us 12, bring down the 0, 16 into 120 goes 7 times, 7 times 16 is 112. We subtract. We get 8. Bring down the 0. 16 into 80. 5 times. 
5 times 16 is 80. So we have 0 0.1875. We're rounding to the nearest thousandth. We look at the 5, so we're going to round up in this case 0 0.188.